I wanted to talk a little bit about self-motivation and how we can actually instill that in very, very young children if we kind of direct them in the right way. A lot of times we're raised to be motivated by what we should be doing, what the doctor said, what mummy said, what the rabbi said, what the reverend said, the teacher said, or they learn to do it because of consequences, right? Oh, you got to brush your teeth, otherwise they'll fall out or otherwise you'll have bad teeth. If we don't do it, mummy will get angry. Now, when you're a kid, that whole fear concept works pretty well because you're quite afraid. But how long does that really last? So then at some point in your life, when you're no longer afraid of anyone, you're just not going to do it because why bother? And so we don't build that connection naturally of, oh, maybe I should just brush my teeth because oh, the breath feels fresh and lovely. You know, even from a very young age, we can instill in our children that self-motivation to do things because of how it makes you feel. I think the long-term best motivator is love not fear. We're always going to be more motivated to do something because it just gives us lots of joy and it's so much fun to do rather than because of something bad that might happen later on in life. That might sometimes be the reason to why we stop doing things when we're adults or if we're depressed and we feel down, we just completely don't want to do those things. Because as soon as somebody is not hovering over us and saying, you got to do it, then we couldn't be bothered doing it, right? So how do you get yourself self-motivated to do things? So we can teach our child, okay, we're going to organize the room now so it feels lovely around us and do it together with them, get them excited, you know, have them throw toys into the box like like basketball game, make it into something fun so they will remember the experience as something fun. And while they do it, ask them, how does it make you feel? Do you like organizing? Yes. They tell them, I love organizing. Even if as an adult, you don't necessarily like organizing or cleaning, you can create a different experience for your child. If we were organizing and cleaning with our mom and it would have been great fun, who knows? We would have probably had a better experience with organizing and cleaning and how it makes us feel amazing. The cool thing about this is it really has no boundaries. The concept itself, if we teach it from when the kids are really, really young, we can attach that to anything. If you're two year old, get a toilet brush, and you clean the toilet with your mom and say, Oh, wow, that's fun. That's a great way of cleaning. Oh, look, it's clean. It's sparkly. Ah, now I can sit and do my wee wee on it and it's clean. How does it make you feel? And you create that connection of doing things with how it makes us feel. Even the nastiest tasks and things that we don't really like to do can become fun if from a young age we associate joy and fun with it. Kids operate more from emotions rather than from the brain because the brain is not that developed. And of course, I'm not dodging the reasoning altogether. I think reasoning is very important. It is good for the child to learn that we brush our teeth so that our teeth are healthy and so, you know, they don't have holes in them. But it's important not to present that as like a horror story. A lot of times parents will use negative consequences which are true to kind of scare the child as a motivator. Kids really get scared from these little stories that we tell. And I feel like let's change the motivator to be a positive motivator. So it motivates us in the long term and not just in the short term. And it could be anything. It could be brushing your teeth, organizing your room, doing your homework, eating healthy food, helping other people, doing chores around the house, all those little things that really gives us a sense of self. And if we know that at the end of the day, it makes us feel good, we'll probably be more motivated to do it than if we're just afraid of something. Hopefully you agree. If not, let me know. And if you've got any suggestions or you want to ask me for suggestions, then as usual, you can put that in the comments. I get very excited to read what you guys think. And I always try to answer everyone. In the meantime, keep happy and I'll see you soon.